So, um, <clears throat> one of the, uh, the questions that we're uh, asked to solve in class is this uh, reliability block diagram class where, uh, problem where we have our uh, five, we have our process here and it, it starts and ends you know, here and here and this process can either go through this AB path or this CDE path. And um, if each one of these components has a certain uh, probability of working, uh, it's uh, reliability, um, which will denote as R with a subscript. So RA is the probability that A works. RB is the probability that B works, so on and so forth. And if this is 7 tenths here, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 8 tenths, 8 tenths. So the probability that A works is 0.7 of the time. Probability of C working is 0.8 of the time. Um, what is the reliability of the whole system. So what is the probability that the whole system works if we know the, the probabilities that these individual components work? So to answer that, um, we'll, we need to, to first establish a few um, sort of um, uh, principles. So the first uh, principle we're going to establish is um, we'll call it the uh, unity of success and failure. And if we denote R as um, the probability that a, a system works or a block works, and I guess maybe you could think of this um, algebraically as uh, maybe the ratio of um, Maybe if you if you ha if you have a, a a system and you use it a number of times, the ratio of the times the system works over the total times tried, and if we define uh, another value uh, q. And um, this is the, uh, the unavailability of the system, and or not necessarily the unavailability. I'm not precisely sure on the the, the concise definition of unavailability, but this is the the, the probability a, a block doesn't work And if we define this to be, uh, let's see, maybe let's see if this works out. I might, I might uh, yeah. So, uh, and we could maybe define this algebraically as the times the system doesn't work. times tried. So we can see uh, just by inspection here, kind of intuitively, that the, the probability of 
a block working plus the probability of a block not working has to equal one. There's no other uh, other choice. Either a block works or it doesn't work. So the total probability of, of, of the, the, the or of either one of those happening has to encompass the entire um, sample space or probability space. And you can um, you can kind of see this with our, our definitions here, the because uh, this expands out to be the times the system works plus times the system doesn't work equals the total times tried. Okay. So um, that's um, what we'll call the reliability and see. Let me see if they they have a, a definition for this. Um, In, in this, this book, Reliability Evaluation of Engineering Systems by Roy Bilton, they call uh, Q the uh, probability of failure. So this, maybe we could call this the, su the success probability, and this is the failure probability. So that being said, if we have um, two blocks, Alpha and Bravo, and we want to replace this by a single block, Alpha Bravo, that has the uh, the the, uh, the probability that Alpha Bravo works is the probability that Alpha and Bravo works. Well, we can see this uh, quite intuitively because um, we we recall from our, our, our basic uh, axioms and, and statistics that the and operator um, is uh, of, of a probability is multiplication. So if we have the probability that A works and we have the probability that B works then the probability that the block A and B works is equal to just the the product of the, the reliability of A and the reliability of B and you might want to think about that for a little bit just to kind of um, uh, understand it a bit better. Um, the uh, video is not as bright as I'd like it to be. So, and on the other hand, um, if we have Alpha and Bravo in parallel, what's the probability that um, alpha and bravo, if we replace this with a single block, alpha bravo, what's the probability that this th this block works if, we, if we're given the rel reliability of A and the reliability of B? And if you think about this for a minute, for um, um, this parallel configuration to fail, both A and B must fail. So it follows that the uh, the the the, the uh, probability of failure Q A B equals the product of the probability of failure of A 
and or multiplication multiplied by the probability of failure of B. And we can just expand this out using the uh, unity of success and failure uh, principle. Say one minus R A times uh, one minus R B equals Q A B, and then it follows that R A B equals one minus Q A B equals one minus one minus R A B times one minus, or sorry, that's just A, or B. And we can generalize these principles so that if we add, a, uh, an, a um, arbitrary length of, a ch or chain of, of um, uh, uh, blocks in series up to, I don't know, k or something like that, or well, just like some arbitrary number, then for this whole chain to fail, um, then every single one of these in the, uh, the, 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 the chain would have to, uh, oh, so, sorry, sorry, for this whole ch uh, chain to succeed, every single one of these blocks in the chain would have to succeed. So A and B and C and D and so on and so forth must all work. So we can see that the, 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 the generalized expression for the reliability of K elements is just the product of, of those K elements. we product them from i to k. So it would be just ra times rb times rc, so on and so forth. Furthermore, for if we have a, uh, a uh, chain or a, 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 um, a, a number of uh, blocks in parallel, type thing there. Then for all these blocks to uh, to fail, um, 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 for all these blocks to, to fail, they would have to all fail. Uh, that doesn't make quite, quite any sense. Um, for a signal to, to for a path to stop existing between the start node and end node here, every single block in this uh, this, uh, this multitude of parallel blocks would have to fail. So A would have to fail, B would have to fail, C would have to fail, so on and so forth, for the, a complete break, a complete cut in the reliability block diagram. So we can see that here that the, the probability of failure of these uh, k components or whatever is just the, the um, product of the k components. So to, to find out um, what the probability of failure is of the system as a whole, uh, the, because every single component would have to f fail for the system to fail, it'd be probability that this would fail times the probability that this would fail and the probability that this would fail and the probability that this, uh, that this would fail so on and so forth. So this is, these are the, the generalized expressions for an arbitrary number of, um, of, uh, of blocks in a reliability block diagram. So we can use these principles to um, simplify our block diagram here. 
So to do that, we're just going to uh, we're going to collapse via series and then collapse along the parallel lines. So the reliability of a b simply equals the reli reliability of a times the reliability of b. Then for this second branch here, the reliability of Charlie Delta Echo is simply the reliability of the, the, the product of reliability of Charlie, reliability of Delta, the reliability of Echo. So now we have something that looks like and you could you could plug numbers in here and calculate that out, but I'll leave that to the end. Um, so now we have our collapse down uh, reliability block diagram fe featuring Alpha Bravo here and Charlie Delta Echo here. So now we can uh, collapse these two parallel branches down and uh, recall we recall that the uh, the reliability of the system or Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta Echo here is just going to be the the product of the reliability of the the two branches here uh, the, the, not the reliability the probability of failure of the two branches sorry just to say that again the, 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 the probability of failure of the system is a product of the reliability of the two branches of the, of the probability of failure of the two branches so then if we if we want the reliability of the system we just use our, our unity law and we get 1 minus q sys and, that's, and we can just expand this out 1 minus q a b times q charlie delta echo equals 1 minus uh, 1 minus r a b times 1 minus R C D E and um, just start plugging in numbers here we get 1 minus or you know I'll start this on a new, new page of paper 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 1 minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 and if we plug this into our calculator we get This reliability system is 0 0.75112. Now, um, for the second part of the question, they go on to ask. Um, They go on to ask, given the system works, find the probability that the component A is, is not working. And you, you recall that from our notation, the probability of A not working is just Q sub A. Now we're going to use a, a rule from a conditional probability. And you might recall from your statistics class that um, if we have an, an event A that follows 
event B, um, this probability is given by the intersection of A and B all over the probability of B. And to understand uh, this question really, um, you have to understand what they mean by this intersection here. Because what they're really talking about is the probability that A and B both occur. So in our in our system back here, uh, if if A uh, or you know what we'll, we'll denote it um, W is the probability of the system working. Actually, to stick with our notation, we're going to use R sys and uh, QA is the probability that the system is not working. And what we're really asked to find is the probability of QA given R sys. And by our identity, uh, our expression here, this is the probability of Q, A, and, or the intersection of that and the system working all over our sys. So let's examine what we mean by this expression here. And to do this, we'll draw a Venn diagram. So this is system works. And this is A fails. And this intersection space here, what does it represent? If we take a look back at our diagram here, what we're really asking is under what situation does a system work and component A fails? And we can just look by inspection. The, the, the only time that happens is when the, the branch C, D, E works. So element Bravo doesn't really uh, play into this at all. It's only when, when that uh, A fails and C, D, E works that the whole system works. So if we if we, if we kind of realize that we we realize that the the this intersection here what they're really talking about is the product of the failure of a and the, the reliability of the system. So what is the probability that Q fa fails, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, R, I'm sorry, and branch CDE works? What is the probability that Q fails and CDE works? Because the system only works when CDE works under the, the condi condition that A has failed. So, element Bravo here doesn't play into this at all. And this is a point that a lot of people were getting confused on. So now that we understand that, we can quite simply just uh, finish out the calculation here. And we can say the probability that A fails given that the system works is just going to be um, QA, which is 1 minus RA times RC times R delta times reliability of echo all over the reliability of the system.
and we figure out the reliability of the system from the, the from before. So this is just going to be 0 0.3, which is 1 minus 0 0.7, times 0 0.8, times 0 0.8, times 0 0.8, all over 0 0.7512. Is that right? Yep, 0 0.5512. And if we just pop this into the calculator, we get... Zero point two oh four seven seven. So the probability that A has failed given the system works is this value here, or twenty point four seven seven percent. So the the trick in in this question is just understanding this this idea of an intersection, and that. Uh, system only works uh, while A has failed if branch CDE here works. So if there was like another like uh, block here like C, then you'd still have the same situation where the C or, or I guess F, F wouldn't factor in to this uh, expression here because it only works if CDE all works. So that's about the, 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 all I wanted to say in this video. If you have any questions, just let me know.